problem, what we're going to do is we're going to solve for the mass of solute that would be needed in order to prepare a particular solution given the molarity. So it says what mass of solute should be used to prepare each of the following solutions. So again, we know that molarity is equal to moles per liter of solution. Per liter of solution, and in this instance, we have our liters time our molarity is going to give us our moles, and we can convert our moles into grams. So, for this particular problem, we're told we have 0 0.02 molar, and we have 500 milliliters. If we convert that into liters, we divide it by 1,000. 1,000 milliliters equal to 1 liter, which would give us 0 0.50 liters. And when we do that, we would have 0 0.01 moles of potassium permanganate. Now, we can convert our moles of potassium permanganate into grams. So, how many grams of KMNO4 is equal to 0 0.01 moles of KMNO4? And from here, we know that for every one mole, of potassium permanganate, I have 158 grams moles of KNO4 comes out and my answer is 1.58 grams of potassium permanganate. So in order to prepare a 500 milliliter solution, I will have to take 500 milliliter solution using a volumetric flask, add 1.58 grams of KMNO4 into a 500 milliliter volumetric flask, and then add water up to that particular mark, to the 500 um, mark in the volumetric flask. All right, let's look at another problem. Here we have how much solute would we need to use if we have 2 liters and 1.5 molar KOH? So we do the problem the same way. We have um, molarity is equal to moles per liter. We want to have our volume time our molarity equal our number of moles and then we can convert our moles to grams. So in this instance we have um, our 2.0 as the number of liters times 1.5 that would give us a total of 3 moles of potassium hydroxide then I'm going to convert my potassium hydroxide into grams so how many grams of KOH is equal to three moles of KOH and I know that for every one mole of KOH I have 56 grams of KOH, moles of KOH cancel out, and my answer is 168 grams of potassium hydroxide. So I will take 168 grams of potassium hydroxide and using a 2 liter volumetric flask, 
add the 168 grams into the volumetric flask and then raise adding water uh, raise the um, water mark up to the two liter mark in, in the volumetric flask all right here we have another solution same thing we're in the number of grams we have 25 milliliters of a 0 0.200 molar barium chloride um, again same problem we have molarity is equal to moles per liter we want to take our liters time our molarity which is going to equal to our moles and we're going to convert our moles to grams so in this instance here we have 25 ml we're going to divide that by a thousand mls to give us our answer in liters which is going to give you 0 0.025 liters and we already told what our molarity is is 0 0.200 moles this here gives us 0 0.005 moles of barium chloride and we then take how many grams of BACL2 is equal to 0 0.005 moles of BACL2 and we know that for every one mole of this we have 207 grams of BACL2 and when we do our math, this is equal to 1.035 grams BACL2. Okay. Um, so we will take 1.035 grams of barium chloride and use an volumetric flask and raise the volume to 25 milliliters to obtain a 0 0.200 molar solution of barium chloride. That's a wrap.